Hi, I'm Patty Rokas and I want to share with you a book that's just coming out for Christmas. It's called The Savior is Born and it's all pictures with pebbles and rocks. So I went hiking and camping and I found all these beautiful rocks and I put them together and they look like the nativity story and uh, turned into a book. So I can tell you the whole story, but I just wanted to show you that the book's out and I'll show you a few pictures that are inside. So these are just normal pebbles and rocks that you find outside and I'm hoping that kids will love to go out and find their own. Let me jump right in. Like, Mary, you're going to have a baby. That's obviously Angel Gabriel letting Mary know. And that was actually the very first rock that I found that I thought, oh my heavens, this looks like a person. And from that first rock, I just started looking for all the rest. And in one bucket of random rocks, I found all of these pictures that tell the nativity story. Um, this is my favorite because you, I mean, it's just so cute. And I even did a little how-to video so you can go out and find these rocks and do that yourself. There's Mary and Joseph headed to Bethlehem. And these rocks, these are just little guys. So you can, I mean, these are like actually the size of the rocks. So you can do this too. There's the lowly stable. And there's the Lamb of God. <laughs> do you want to see the picture of like the main picture? I think I'll tease you and you have to go get the book to see the main picture. But here are some angels and angels are so easy to make. Um, you can get the how-to, it's free, guide on how to make the angels too if you want. Okay, I'm going to tell you the story about how this book actually came to be. It's like a series of miracles. Like I could never have invented it. Um, I was up in Montana and I was camping by myself and found this incredible old growth cedar forest, which I'm all about trees. And interestingly, I kept going to the riverbed, which didn't have any water in it, it was just a dry riverbed. But the rocks in the riverbed were so beautiful that I kept stuffing my pockets with rocks. I'd go back to my tent and, and leave them there and the next day I'd stuff my pockets with more rocks just because they were so pretty. And when I got home, I had a bucket of these random rocks when I dumped them all out and started pushing them around and looking at them, I noticed that they made pictures. They made pictures of the nativity scene. And so when I took, I took a few iPhone pictures of those, sent them out to friends, they said, we want a book. I thought, that's very interesting. So I threw a book together, and in two weeks, I sold 900 copies. So I thought, there's a lot of people collecting rocks out there that are looking for something to do with them. Or maybe, maybe it's just that it's interesting that you could take a handful of random rocks and they can turn into something beautiful. And I thought, you know, that's kind of what God did. He took a handful of rocks and made this whole creation. And I thought, well, maybe he can take a handful of my rocks of my life, of just random experiences that feel random and create something that matters and that's beautiful. I'm not sure why rocks matter so much to most of us, but maybe now that you see that you can make pictures with rocks, you can do that too. And I'd love to see what you'd make if you want to post it on Facebook. I'm at rockstellstories.com or just at Patty Rokas. And um, I hope that you'll be able to feel the love that God has for each of us, even in the most simple things that he's given us. Even the rocks testify of Jesus.